Hello there. Uh, so I was just answering a question on Yahoo Answers about uh, finder scopes on telescopes. And someone had a question, um, and I was giving them an answer about Telrads, talking about Telrads. And I wanted to go on YouTube and show them how you actually use one, uh, what they look like, how it works. Uh, and I found out that there aren't any there. So YouTube is absent on Telrads. So uh, I went out and I grabbed one out of my uh, garage. I don't have a telescope set up, so I can't show you how it actually goes on there, but I can give you the basic idea. Um, so this is a little Telrad. Um, what you have on here are these little feet, and on your telescope you mount this little plastic piece using double-sided sticky tape, and it's just got two little things, and you click it in there, and have the little two little set screws on the side. And this way it's parallel with your telescope tube. Um, on the side here, there's a little switch. And this controls the intensity of the light inside. And I'm going to show you what it looks like, if I can actually get it to show up. So I've got it on full brightness here. Uh, please, where? There we go. Uh, so you can see down in there, there's a bullseye that's projected. Um, obviously, in the light, it's, it's not a bright light. It's just like a, one little LED in there. Um, but it works. It's really, really bright at night, which is why you have to have the little thing so you can tune it down a little bit. Otherwise, you won't be able to see the stars that are behind it. What's great about these is that when you're looking through it, you can still see the stars. It's, it's completely clear. Uh, but it puts a little bullseye over top of things, and each of the little bullseyes is a specific diameter around, like, I think it's uh, 1 degree and 5 degrees, or 1, 3, and 5 degrees, depending on the actual Telrad. And this way you can put your object that you're trying to find right in, right in the middle of it, and that's what you're going to see. Uh, it's, there's no magnification on this, um, so it's, it's really great in, in dark skies, and if you're trying to um, star hop, you can star hop really easy because you can actually just look at it and, and move the stars around. Um, there's also, I want to show you these, there's little adjustment knobs on the side here, on the back. And uh, so what you do is you put this on your telescope and then you put your telescope on a real bright object and get it right in the middle of the telescope in the eyepiece. And then you go back and you look through this and then you adjust these little knobs and it actually moves where the circle, where the bullseye is. And that way you can align it up. Uh, so that way the next object that you look at, you just align it with your Telrad and it's right there. Uh, on my telescope I have uh, an f4.5 16 inch and a Dobsonian, and I mean, it's got a really, really big field of view, so I can just put this right over top of it. I never have to use any magnification whatsoever. It's fantastic. Uh, I also wanted to show you what's actually inside of this. So it's got a little cover that slides out. If you look closely, you can see I've got little um, battery explosion marks on it. Uh, cheap batteries, when they get really cold, they basically freeze and pop. And so I took it out on the night that was that was freezing cold, and so I had some cheap batteries that exploded. Um, inside of here, if I need some view of the light, there's basically it's it's empty. <laughs> so you've got two little batteries, and then if you look back, there's actually a mirror in there. You're not you're not seeing an opening, right? It's a mirror, and that opening shoots out the top, right? And uh, and then there's a tiny little LED, and they have some bullseye mechanics in there. I don't know what it is. It's magic. Uh, and then so when you turn this on, you can actually see the bullseye straight down in there, right? So the bullseye comes up and then it reflects off of this. It works exactly like a teleprompter. Um, so it's really neat. So uh, I recommend if you have a telescope um, and you need some sort of a finder scope on it, that, that you can get away with not having any magnification on. If you have a telescope that has a really, really long focal length and so your field of view is really small, you might not be able to get away with this. Um, but it'll, it'll get you to where you want to go, you know, for your first step. And then if you want to have another finder scope on, on the side that has, you know, 10x magnification or 20x magnification or whatever, that way you can narrow it in. But this will get you in the ballpark really, really easily. Um, like I said, on my, on my DAB, this is all I use, and it works really, really well. Um, so you can pick these up. OPT has these for about 40 bucks. Well worth it. Um, you also, you only need one of these. Um, and then you can get the base for them. I think they're like 10 bucks. 
and then you put the base on each one of your telescopes and then you only need this for the one telescope that you're actually using and they're all exactly the same they have some that are shorter um, I think they're just long because it's more accurate so you have a larger line but you can get really small ones too that are about like this size it's basically just this chopped down um, so there you go it's a Telrad